Hi, I'm Dallas, host of Cafe Nashville. Today, I have the opportunity to introduce you to a new artist that's running around Music Row and making waves all over Nashville. Now, I call him a new artist, but you've probably heard him before. He's five albums into an already spectacular career. With the sixth album on the way, today we introduce you to Keith Bryant. He said, can't put my finger on it, all I know is he ain't. So with five albums under your belt and a sixth on the way, tell me about the new project. I feel lucky. I'm excited about the, the label, you know, uh, picking me up. And I'm also excited about having a brand new project, something out the radio we've not done in a long time. Uh, it's just, for me, uh, it's my next chance at doing that, you know, what I've been trying to do for my whole career. You've got an entirely new group of people that you're working with now, Jordash Records, brand new record label. Let's talk about that. Well, I'm excited about being with uh, Jordash Records. It's uh, Jim Jordan, Bruce Allen. I've worked with Bruce for a long time, my first time working with Jim. And of course, Chris Utley produced this project. Great studio, great bunch of musicians. It was just fun. It's, it's some of the best stuff I think we've ever cut. You got some heavy hitters in your corner, too. I mean, I understand you're working with Mike Bruschetta. How did you hook up with him? Yeah, well, you know, I, I was on a Lofton Creek Records for a while, and I worked with Mike, and uh, he's, he's just a giant in this industry. And, of course, you know, we, we had this song, uh, Riding with a Legend, out to the radio. And Mike was the man behind that, and uh, he's the kind of guy that knows a hit song when he hears it. And uh, he's really excited about this song, as, as well as myself. Uh, I'm hoping we can put it over the top. You know, we had a chance to sit down and talk to Mike about you. As Bob Orman said, there's not a better voice in country music than Keith Bryant. And if you wanted a household name to be proud of, it's Keith Bryant. He's my friend. I'm proud to say he's my friend. Uh, I'm looking forward to working with him on his new single. We're going to go out together and go visit radio. And I can't wait to get the job done for him because I think he's finally arrived where he needs to be. He's worked real hard and uh, he's a good family man, a good deserving uh, person who should have a lot of hits. Uh, Keith and I are looking forward to coming to see all of you, so uh, we'll be coming to visit and I can talk Keith into bringing his guitar. Maybe he can play a couple of songs for the guys. You know, in a career like yours, after working with folks like Leonard Skinner and Phil Vassar and then working with NASCAR in the racing world, um, what's next with your live show? How do you top that? Uh, well, hopefully to take it to more people. That's, that's our goal right now, to get in front of more people. Uh, you know, in the past, you know, we've been lucky enough to work with some pretty neat artists, and that helps, you know, get the success of their crowd on your side. You know, you get to play to people that you normally would not know about you. Uh, you try to break them into your music, and that's what's fun about it. You know, you try to uh, make people believe in what you already believe in, and that's what we're trying to do. You know, get out there on, on some of the biggest tours. With a decade of success under your belt already, what can we expect now? Promotion, promotion, promotion. Uh, it's, this, to me, it's the fun part. You know, a lot of artists I've talked to in the past really don't like this part. I love it, you know, because you get to go to the radio stations one-on-one -on -one with your acoustic guitar, make friends, uh, see a lot of neat country that you've not seen before. But you go out and just have fun with it and hopefully make people feel what you feel, make them believe in that song. And uh, we really, really feel strong about everything we've cut on this album. We feel like we're only cutting you know, singles. We're not cutting any filler, any what we has been referred to in the past as Nashville fluff. We just we really feel good about all of it. So uh, that's what's exciting to me, and getting to hear it that first time on the radio. You know, that's always fun. It makes it worth all the work you put into it. You know, after a decade of making music, you've got an entire world of fans, but you're going to have more new fans from the new project. What do you say to your new fans? Thank you. <laughs> uh, I just, I've learned through the years to be very, very grateful for each and every fan. I mean, for people to spend their money, especially today with today's economy and the way things are, I'm very, very grateful when people choose to come out and see your show above you know, doing whatever else they can. I mean, because there's a million things you can do today. And I just want to say thank you uh, because every time you, know, you gain a new fan, you're that much closer to getting to where you want to be. You know, and without them, I, I realized a long time ago, without the fans, you don't have a job, you know, and I absolutely love my job. I love doing what I do, but I can't do it without the fans, you know, so the fans are the most important part of this puzzle.